dear child of God, the Lord knows and he has you in remembrance that you are his child, that you are his precious one. And he's telling you that from this day and forth, you have found favor in his sight. Yea, your day of favor, your times of favor, your seasons of favor has come and you would enjoy everything that God has promised you. Remember, his promises do not fail. His promises in Christ are yea and amen. And every of these promises, dear child of God, they will begin to come to pass in your life. So you will not make mistakes again because God will be leading you. He will lead you to the right man. He will lead you to the right woman. He will lead you to those who will give you peace of mind. He will lead you to where his blessings has been kept for you. He will lead you to that house that he had prepared for you. He will lead you to that family that will bring you peace and joy. He will lead you to that companion that will bring the wholeness of life to you. He will lead you to those people who will make your life very beautiful every day. And it will take at the same time away those people who were destroying you. Those people who were siphoning the joys that you have. Those people who were making you cry night and day. It would make sure that those people were taken off your life. And no more will you be led on that direction ever again. You will not repeat the mistakes of yesteryears in the mighty name of Jesus. And he wants you to know also that for that shame, for all the things that have been done against you, he says you would have double. For everything that has been done against your life, you would have double. You would have double of his blessings. You would have double of the benefit that he carries. You would have double of the things that are found in him. You would have doubles of excitement everywhere you go. You would have the multiples of his favor in the mighty name of Jesus. He will make your table even in the presence of your enemies, even in the presence of those who will think you cannot forge your head ever again, even in the presence of those people who will think you will never be settled again, even in the presence of the people who think that you will not have that good life again, even in the presence of the people who think that you are starting so late, even in the presence of every of those people, even in the presence of those people who think that they had wasted your life and nothing good will ever happen to you again. He said you will find his favor. You would enjoy his benefit because he will make the table for you and you would enjoy your life. You would enjoy the beauty that comes with serving the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, the Lord will lift you up as you have decided to wait upon him. He will service your life. He will service your destiny and you would enjoy his mighty favor. Moses waited upon God. He knew that his waiting upon God was attached with favor. And then he will say in Exodus 33 verse 13, Now if indeed I have found favor in your sight, please let me know your ways. And as he waited upon God, he really found that favor in the sight of God. And God directed him and led him and led the people of God to the promised land. Dear child of God, as you wait upon God, the Lord will give you his favor. And that favor will lead you to your promised land. It will lead you to your land of milk and honey. It will lead you to your prosperity. It will lead you to your place of plenty. It will lead you to the place of satisfaction. It will lead you to the place that you would enjoy the full benefit of God that covers every area of one's life. In the mighty name of Jesus, he said in Psalms 143 verse 8, Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for indeed do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. The Lord will cause you to know the way that you should go. It will lead you in the path of truth. It will teach you what you ought to know. And as you wait upon him, he will bring his blessings in abundance to you. He will bring his benefit in surplus to you. And you would enjoy that good life. He led Moses. He led the people of God. He led them to their promised land. 
and they enjoyed the good life of God. Dear child of God, you will enjoy that good life. God will show unto you every single thing that would make your life prosperous and you would have good success in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not take a wrong turn in business ever again. You will not make a wrong decision in what to do ever again. You will not get into a frustrating relationship ever again because the Lord will guide you, because the Lord will lead you. He will show you that one that will cause you to enjoy the blessings that is bringing your way. He will not allow you to get involved with the people who were sent to destroy your life. He will not allow you to receive those people in your life that were planning to destroy you from onset. Those who come in sheep clothing but are wolves, he will not allow you to get any involvement. He will not allow you to get anything to do with them. Moses enjoyed this benefit and you would enjoy it. David enjoyed this benefit and you will enjoy it. It will lead you all the way and you will know everything that he wants you to do part time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, now if indeed I have found favor in your sight, please let me know your ways that I may know you and find favor in your sight. He says, remember that this nation is your people. The Lord will guide you. He will teach you the way that you should go. He will lead you on the path that you should take and you will enjoy all the blessings that come from God. You will not miss it ever again. You will not make a wrong decision ever again because you will see the Lord guiding you from this day henceforth. He will lead you to your place of rest. He will lead you to your place of safety. He will lead you to your place of abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 25 verse 5 says, Guide me in your truth and teach me for you are the God of my salvation all day long. I wait for you. He said all the day long he will wait on God. And those who wait on God, those who wait on the promises of God are satisfied because he says they that wait upon me, they will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings as eagles. He says they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. Dear child of God, the Lord will lead you in his truth. The Lord will lead you to your place of abundance. The Lord will lead you to the place that you would enjoy all the blessings that are found in Him. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will know that grace will speak for you all the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. He will show you His loving kindness. And it will be with you all the way. In the mighty name of Jesus. So they may have done all the things they want to do against you. Know for sure from this day henceforth. That every of their plans against you to enjoy your good life has failed. And from this day and forth, they will see you making progress. They will see you succeeding and they will not be able to do anything against it. In the mighty name of Jesus, trust the Lord to make everything good for you. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus name, it shall be well with your family and it shall be well with everything that you value. You see, Isaiah 63 verse 14 says, like cattle that go down into the valley the spirit of the lord gave them rest for you led your people to win for yourself a glorious name dear child of god the reason why the lord wants to give you all of these things is to win for himself a glorious name is so that he will be praised like the unfighter woman began to praise dear child of god he will ensure that you have every single thing that will bring you rest. Those people who have been fighting against you, dear child of God, soon they will be your servant. As he made the Edomites, the subservient of David, this is how the Lord will do for you. Those people who think they can ride over you, those people who think they can always sit upon your blessing, he's saying to you today, soon they'll be looking up to you because he had given you victory above them all. He's saying to you soon enough, they will come to you seeking for help. They will come to you asking for assistance because the Lord had placed you above them. Dear child of God, the Lord sees all that you are doing. And he says to you, continue because you will get the fullness of the blessing. You will get the fullness of the satisfaction of every single thing 
you have been toiling for. Remember, He alone gives the increase. He alone will give you all the multiplication as an addition to your life's benefit. Trust Him today. Trust His faithfulness because it will come to pass because it will bring each and every one of them to pass. Your enemies will not be able to stop you from getting it. This is what God is declaring to you today. No one will be able to withstand you. No one will be able to stop you from getting your portion of the blessing. No one will stop you from getting what is yours. As long as you obey the Lord, as long as you are doing everything he has told you to do, all that you will need to possess, the Lord will give them unto you. The Lord will make sure they are your portion. As long as you trust him, as long as you listen to his voice, every of these things that will make your life beautiful, they will be your portion. It says when the Lord sent you from Kabesh Benia and told you, go possess the land that I gave you. Go possess the land that I gave you. He's saying to you, everything that is yours, go and possess it. They are yours. I've made them available unto you. So believe and trust him. You have asked of him these things. And he's saying to you, go and get them. They are yours. You have trusted in the Lord. You have trusted in the king as found in Psalms 21 verse 7. He's saying to you, out of his gracious love, out of his good benevolence, you will get these things and you will stand firm. You will stand strong because indeed these are internal blessings to you. Indeed, these are things that should make you glad all the days of your life. Indeed, you have given him internal rest. You would make him glad with the joy of your presence. A child of God, you would have these things in surplus. You would have everything God wants you to have and you will not lack these things ever again. The things you have lacked in the past, you will not lack them again. Those people who had troubled you, you will look for them and you will find none ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, everything that you would need to make your life good, to make your life beautiful on the face of the earth, the rest that you need, everything that will cause your mouth to be filled with praises. You see, there was something significant about the life of Ruth. The word of God made us to understand that God himself gave her conception. Remember, she had had the first marriage and there was no issue. But by the time she met Boaz, the word of God said in Ruth chapter 4 verse 13, So Boaz took Ruth and she was his wife. And when he went unto her, the Lord gave her conception and she bore a son, their child of God. This means that it doesn't matter what the enemies had put upon you. It doesn't matter the limitation. She was barren. She was having difficulties to conceive. But when she met a man, when she met this blessing from the Lord, the word of God said, God gave her everything that would supplement, everything that would make it good. Dear child of God, have you been struggling to bring forth? Have you been struggling to carry your own children? He is saying to you today, he will give you that conception. He will give you that that will cause you to rejoice. In the mighty name of Jesus, he says he gives the unfighter woman a family, making her a happy mother of children. Give praise to the Lord. Psalms 113 verse 9. Dear child of God, you may have been unfighter for so many years. They may have laughed at you. They may have mocked you. He's saying to you today, he will give you your family. He will give you your own children. He will give you your own blessings. Maybe you have been working for God. You have been doing everything you are doing, but you have not seen the result of it. The Lord give you all that you need. He gave the midwives their own houses, their own home. They were serving God diligently. They did everything they did in truth. And God made sure that the labor of their love was rewarded. A child of God, the Lord will reward the labor of your love. He knows what you are doing. He will make sure that you receive all the full satisfaction and benefit for the good things you are doing. Are you looking for a man? He's saying to you today, it is settled. I will give it to you. He gave to Adam, his wife. Dear child of God, the Lord will bring to you that woman that will suit you. He will bring to you that man that will be of benefit to your soul. That every day you look forward to that person, you will say, thank you, Lord, for giving me this bundle of joy, for giving me this blessing. God orchestrated the coming together of Ruth and Boaz.
God orchestrated good things to happen in their life and it will make it also possible for you. Trust him and believe him. He knows how to settle every single one. He knows how to bring those things their way that will cause their life to be blissful. A child of God, quit toiling from this day because everything you have been struggling with, everything you have been doing everything to get, is saying to you today, they will be in your hands. They will be your portion. Are you looking for victories from your enemies? He's saying to you today, like he gave to David, he will give unto you. 2 Samuel 8 verse 14 says, And all the Edomites became subservient to David, while the Lord gave victory to David wherever he went. He said God gave him victory wherever he went. Those people that have been fighting against you in your place of work, those people who are saying you will not get that promotion, those people who have been sitting on your benefit, those people who have been sitting on your blessing, dear child of God, this day, God will give you every single thing that you deserve, just like he gave to Japheth, just like he gave to Jephthah, just as he gave to Gideon, he will give to you. He says, and the Lord gave them into my control. Japheth was speaking. The Lord gave his enemy into his controls in Judges chapter 12 verse 3. Dear child of God, the Lord will give into your hands everything that you would ever need. Even your enemies, those who have been winch haunting you, those who have been standing against you. Dear child of God, the Lord will give you every single thing that you will need to find rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Like he gave to Solomon, he will give to you. The word of God said, the Lord also gave them rest in their surrounding lands. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 15. The Lord will give you rest from all sides in the mighty name of Jesus. In your place of work, you will find rest. In everything you are pursuing in life, you will find rest. You will find God making sure these things will be your portion forever in the mighty name of Jesus. So trust this God who makes good things available to his people. Trust this God who have decided to be devoted to you. Trust this God who have decided to make your life beautiful because every single thing that will make your life great, you would get them all in the mighty name of Jesus. He's a keeper of his promises. He's a keeper of his word. And he doesn't fail. He doesn't disappoint. He will not begin with you. He said, they that trust in him will not be put to shame. You will not be the first to be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. As you trust him with your very best, as you trust him with your very life, it would ensure that the things you would need, you get them in the mighty name of Jesus. But remember in James 4 verse 2, he says, Yet ye have not, because ye asked not. He says, Ye ask and receive not, in verse 3, because ye ask and miss. Dear child of God, begin to ask a right right now. Begin to tell God specifically the things you want. And as you make it, you will see everything go well for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall hear congratulations because God decided to come through for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those who wanted to laugh at you, they will come congratulating you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.